Hello everybody, uh, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'll be showing you how to make a glass dome, a dome like this on your roof. Um, and it's, it's going to be a quick one, a really easy one. Um, first thing you should know is that I'm using uh, Autodesk Revit 2019 student version. And I'll be doing this in the architectural templates. Just so you know, um, I have here uh, my walls drawn with my ceiling. I, that's what I have hidden right here, temporarily, temporary hide or isolate. Um, so yeah, now it shows up. So this is my ceiling. It is a basic ceiling, um, generic. Um, so in here, you will not see my ceiling because when I put when I hover my mouse over the wall. And then I press tab over and over again. All that it selects is um, just the wall, still the wall, nothing. Um, so it's because my wall is 20 feet high and my ceiling is also at the same level of the wall. Um, to make that show on my keyboard, I can type VR, that's view range. And then um, I can tweak these numbers to... Um, to make my ceiling appear and now if I hover my mouse here you can see that it appears now this time you can see ceilings basic ceiling generic um, so I'll be drawing my dome right in the middle of this to guide my drawing because I want my dome centered in this um, in, in these walls I'll draw a detail line come to annotate detail and then select this and right in the center of it i will draw my line right in the center end to end and then i have the center of my dome or the center for myself my dome um ready to go um to start drawing the glass dome i'll first click on mass and insight and then click on in place mass um you can ignore that I, uh, name I can make that glass dome okay and then the first thing to do is to click on this right a circle the circle to put it in the middle of my um, the center of my building and then I want it to be up to 22 feet wide um, that's I mean the radius into feet and I have that right there um, the next thing to do is to select this Click on um, create form, select solid form. This will, will appear. When I when you choose this, it's going to make it look like a cylinder. This will make it look like a sphere. So click on that and hit the green check mark. It is drawn, but you cannot see it in um, in this view. But in 3D view, there you have it. You have it drawn like a sphere, both up and down. And it is transparent, as you can see. It's a glass. Now the next thing I want to do is to double click the line in the middle of the sphere. There's a line right here. Double click that line. And then this appears. You can double click it two times if, if yours um, functions two times. And then I will change, um, I will draw a line from this point to this point. And then I'll trim this part of it to this part and this part to that part. Um, now I have the blue line. There is this blue line that is in this in this um, sphere or in this circle. I just dragged it to go past this line right here, and and leaving it at this point, just okay. That's how you want it to be, and trim these lines like I wanted before, and then you are done. Click on the green check mark, and then it turns the dome and makes it to stand on one side, as you can see it here. The next thing I want to do is um, click on the green check mark 
click on this again um, oh sorry click on a green check mark and then you come back to Masson Insights you click on curtain system and you click on curtain wall you click on this side of it to make it look better I'm gonna do it on this side there we go like this side and then that side and then I'll click on create system and then the dome is created hit escape and then you have the dome created as you can see now the next thing I want to do is to rotate my dome um, oh I actually clicked the dome more than once so I have the dome created on the bottom side of it too so I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll undo my steps there we go and then start over again so this time I get it right so this half of it and then that half don't click this face or the dome will be drawn on this face of it create system and then that is much better this is what I was looking for this is what we want the dome is created now we want to rotate the dome click on this right here and um, these symbols will show on both sides of the, of the dome and then click on the rotate symbol you can do this in um then elevation view continue this part of it in an elevation view so click on this once again the symbol show click on rotate and then you can rotate this 90 degrees all right now you have your dome rotated if you go to the 3d view you can see that the dome is rotated right there um you don't need this anymore so you can just delete that and then this is what you want the dome obviously is not in the um, it's not in the place where I wanted to be. I can fix that by um, clicking on this first floor and then I can move it from this point right in the center. I can move that to this point. That is not working. Let's try that one more time. Click on this and move. Train this join. Train, there we go. I want it to stay right there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, I have it centered right in the middle as I wanted it to be. Now, if I go to my 3D view, you're going to see that it is right in the center as I want it to be. This is what I wanted. But the elevation of it is not complete. That one, I can do that right here. I can just select the dome, go to my this view. You can see that is not there. I can hide this wall, click on the dome, and I can move that up. Let's do that one more time to move it down from this point to this point. And then now we have it in the elevation where we want it to be. But there's, you can see there's another problem we have here. There's no hole here. I want to see through the ceiling. That is easy. Just click on, come back to the first level. You can uh, remove your detail lines now. We don't need that now. And then the next thing we want to do is, um, on the architecture, click on components, model in place. And we can say ceilings. Okay. And let's say um, ceilings void. Okay, and then I can come to void, void extrusion, pick the lines, pick the outer part of the lines, and then that part, that part, that part, that part, um, yes, that, that that and that now we want to trim them on the keyboard you can type the letter the letters tr to trim then you can 
connect the corners as you can see and that to that that to that that to that to that that to that that to that that to that and do that all around until you have all the sides connected and then click on the green check mark and then a void is created click on a green check box let's see what the problem is in this view okay um bring this up here up to say this level and then drag this part right here what it's gonna do is that it's gonna create a void right where i have it covering so this area right here will have a void in there oh the, the next thing to do is not working because i i do not have the void um removing um my ceiling so sorry okay now the next thing to do is cut geometry click on this and give me a sec let's get this done don't need this don't need that Okay, maybe in 3D view, this time it should work. This and that. There we go. And green check mark. Perfect. And now, so the best thing to do is to do in 3D view. I almost forgot that. And then we have our dome created. That will be all. Thanks for watching.